Now earlier I described moments as a force causing rotation and I used the example of a wrench and a screwdriver. Now these are two different types of moments for lack of a better word or when you're using a wrench you're rotating the entire lever arm about a point. When you're using a screwdriver you're rotating the entire screwdriver to tighten down. So I would call the screwdriver a moment about a line or a moment about an axis and we also call this torque in civil engineering. And then moment about a point is going to be more like our wrench where we're rotating that screw or bolt into place. So if we have moments about a line, the equation for this is the unit vector of that line dot product the position vector connecting the force to the line cross product the force itself. Our matrix for that is going to be unit vector x, unit vector y, unit vector z, position x, position y, position z, force x, force y, force z. And we've got a dot product involved, which means this is not a vector, this is a magnitude. And if we want it in vector format, we would have to multiply it by the, the line vector again. So that's going to be that moment times the unit vector of the line to get it in Cartesian format. Let's say we are given force F, which acts entirely in the negative y direction with a magnitude of 20 newtons. And it acts from point A that is located at 1, 4, 4 meters. Line BB acts entirely in the xy plane. find the moment of F about line BB. The very first thing that I need is a position vector that connects line BB to force F. The only point that I know for line BB is at the origin. It passes through the origin. So I'm going to connect my position vector from the origin to force F and I want it to point to force F. So that's going to be position vector A. So coming down here, I have the force vector, which is negative 20J Newtons. I will have my position vector A, which is going to be I plus 4J plus 4K and we are in meters for that position vector. And then last, I need a unit vector representing line BB. Now I have a line of action here. It's 30 degrees off the y-axis and it acts in the xy plane. So the unit vector for BB is going to equal to the sine of 30 degrees I plus the cosine of 30 degrees J. Now that I have my three vectors, I can plug them into my moment equation. Moment about BB is equal to the unit vector, sine of 30 degrees, cosine of 30 degrees, and zero my position vector 1, 4, and 4, and my force vector 0, negative 20, and 0. Finding the determinant of this vector, my solution is a magnitude of 40 newton 
meters. Now that I have the magnitude, I can multiply it to, so I should remove this, I should multiply it to the unit vector BB is equal to moment BB times the unit vector BB. And this is going to equal to 20i plus 34.6j, and we are still in Newton's.